For air conditioning in the van, I'm using this standard household window AC unit. It's uh, 115 volts, 5 amps, so 575 watts, I believe. And for the ventilation, I don't want it hanging out the side of the van. I'm going to cut through right here and mount this on the outside. And then for the fresh air so that it can uh, suck in the air, blow past there, I'm going to cut down through the floor, install this, and then kind of inspect the bottom of it to see where the drip is going to be at because these will have water that drips out of them depending on how humid you are and obviously I don't want to flood the van. Well, there's officially a hole in the side of my van. So. It's a facade. This is the point of no return. It finally happened. <laughs> uh, there it is. One hole in the wall of the van. This will fit right on the outside. And now I need to cut through the floor. Looks like it's completely open down underneath. The only thing I'm worried about is some water spray.
that's it for the metal cutting. Right there I have the fresh air inlet and it's gonna exhaust out there. Um, I feel like I'm yelling, it's very loud. Nothing caught on fire, that's good. Now really the only thing left is to seal everything and get this thing framed. Marking out the area that the air conditioner is going to be in, and I wanted to leave some room on the sides for the ventilation. It's gonna be sucking in the fresh air through the sides and the top and blowing out through the back there. Now I had originally had this cut quite a bit closer, but this basically sits on the ground and didn't feel comfortable having such little ventilation like that. So I opened it up to the sides a little bit and that should really help. Next up, I'm just going to lay down some expanding foam and kind of try to form it into a slope down there. That way the condensation drips down there and not under the floor. Just cut this out of one by two furring strips and it's just silicone down to the floor. And what I plan on doing is using this, I think it's six mil thickness plastic sheeting. And once the silicone's dry, I'm just gonna put it on top all the way across and then sink it down into there and run a silicone bead around here and then the rest of it down underneath just fill it with expanding foam just so that we know it's going to be a nice slope all the way down into there for all the condensation and I really want to make sure that it's pretty tight that way it doesn't get sucked up into the bottom of the air conditioner. The AC is installed. It's connected with one, two, three, four, eight screws. It has two on both sides right up here going into this one by two. And then along the sides, I chopped the one by two, used some sheet metal screws, and then sunk a screw into the front metal. Same right there. And then another one, you can kind of see the sheet metal screw in there going into the pillar and the exact same on the other side. So I'm really happy with it. It's really solid. A little bit of expanding foam down on the bottom on the plastic sheeting just to keep it sealed up a little better. Although it's siliconed all the way around the metal, great. So now I'm gonna cut some of the one and a half inch thick foam and box in the outside to keep it from sucking air around here. It's gonna suck all the air from down underneath, through, and then push the hot air out. Air conditioning is pretty much done. It's all encased in one and a half inch foam, and all the foam pieces are silicone together, then added the tape just as an extra precaution. I do need to put some expanding foam along the back and up at the top you can kind of see down inside on both ends and a little along the side but otherwise it's finished up there's no drafts inside except for those spots i just mentioned and it moves air pretty good you can really feel the hot air blown out the side and the cold air being sucked through the intake on the bottom